Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my March 2023 setup in my bullet journal. The current bullet journal that I'm using is an A5 Stalogy, both the Stalogy itself as well as the clear cover that doubles as storage for me are both from Amazon. I'll have them linked in the description box but you can find that as well as my Amazon storefront and so much more in the description box below. So the stickers that I decided to use, I had a theme in mind. I purchased them from Rose Shadow Collection and they are designer inspired. This one is LV. I mean the stickers are stunning. I was able to get two kits worth out of this. I probably could get more but I just stuck with the two kits. It did come with some gold foil. I loved how I was able to use the date covers because um, it had a set of two here. So I still have some stickers left over and as I go through the spreads, I will continue to use them, I'm sure. So I ordered that sticker book as well as this vellum and two other designer inspired kits. So. Here is the vellum. I did cut it down a little bit. It was size 4 and A5, but I trimmed it down a little bit to fit better inside of here. I also used my corner rounder, which you can get these from your local craft store. And then to tape it into my planner, I used regular scotch tape. Nothing major there. So you have the gold foil on the front here, and this is one of the stickers from that sticker book that I just showed. And then on the back... I don't know what I'm going to put on the back or if I'm going to leave it as is. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I was thinking that maybe I could put like an adhesive pocket and put stickers inside of it. But I don't know if that's going to like conflict with the front. Because I do like how it overlays here. And you can kind of see the shadow of the stickers on the next page. I don't know. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. So the March 23... These gold stickers are from Michaels. This tab is from Amazon. Just a random tab set that I picked up. These are all dolls and bows from that sticker book. And then I decided to do how I've been doing since January, doing the month on one page. I really do like it better this way. I don't need a month on two pages. I also just use the mild liners to mark off different things. So the days that I'm actually leaving the house for work, I used this mild liner. For my paydays, I used the green and then I used this gray color to mark off all of my bills. And then this March sticker here is from a sticker book that I got from Hobby Lobby. So all of the designer accents that you see again are from Rose Shadow Collection. I will have her shop linked in the description box. So I love this. So far I don't know what I'm going to put on this page. If I'm going to put gold. If I'm going to put like a workout type of thing. I don't know. I just left it as is. So here's the first of the designer pages. This is the LV week number one. So how I set up every single week, I did the whole entire month of March. How I set up every single week is that over here I have a this week column or it could say remember, reminder to do whatever. And then I'll put like my work schedule over here, any trackers for the week that I have going on. That's what pretty much goes in this sidebar, any bills I have. And then throughout the week, any journaling or to do's or reminders go in this section. So we have the sidebar here and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then on the back, I have Saturday and Sunday. And then similar to how I have the this week on this sidebar that's what pretty much will go here like a next week type of sidebar which I've really been enjoying doing this style I have tried other styles in my uh bullet journal like this one here these stickers are also from Rose Shadow Collection really did like this spread it was a little bit different more of a Hobonichi style but I typically just go for this layout and that's what I did for the month of March and then this page is all about whatever I want to journal for for the week. So I have three pages dedicated to my week and then a journaling page. And then we have the next week. This one is a Fendi inspired spread. Another journaling page. This one is a Dior one. 
And then this is the LV one number two. Another journaling page. And then this one I put together with what I had available because I still wanted it to be designer inspired. So these are die cuts from A Glittery Life Plans. Uh, this is a gold mine and cocoa doll, a capital chic designs doll. Uh, these are more stickers from a glittery life plan. So I just put stickers together. Uh, the date headers up here were from a Hobby Lobby sticker book. So that is literally how I put this month together. I don't typically plan ahead like this. But because I had the stickers and I was feeling crafty, I decided to go ahead and just do it. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I don't know what I'm going to be putting on my journaling pages. I kind of just let that fall into place based off whatever it is that I have going on. One of my new toys is an HP Sprocket. I'm really... Is this Sprocket? Yes, an HP Sprocket. I got this off Amazon. I'm so excited to use this. I actually started using it for my Super Bowl memory planning. So this picture and all these right here are from the HP Sprocket. I think the quality is really, really nice. So it is your general photo paper. The rest of these I had printed out on my Canon printer, like my big laser printer. But these are from here, and I love it because... I don't have to worry about ink. All I have to do is replace, you know, the sheets inside and they just go inside like that. Absolutely love it. Very convenient, very portable. So I'll be using a lot of this for my memory planning moving forward. But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys one final flip of my March 2023. And let me know what you think in the comments of my theme for this month. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for April, not thinking that far ahead. I just had all the pieces to make this vision in my mind come to life and I love how it turned out. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box from links to shops that I featured to products that I've mentioned in other related videos. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments. Let me know what you're using this year. And if you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. For all of you that are subscribed and are part of this community, I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.